India's helicopter fleet is at a critical juncture. The workhorses of the Indian Air Force and the Army, the Mi-17 V-5s are aging. And the Navy, while inducting American MH-60Rs, is still looking for indigenous strength. And on the anvil is HAL's next big leap, the Indian Multirole Helicopter or the IMRH, and its naval twin, the deck-based multirole helicopter DBM. RH. The IMRH is a 13-ton class helicopter to be designed to replace the Mi-17 V-5s with the capacity to carry 24 to 36 troops, sling loads up to 5 tons and advanced avionics. It is the most ambitious rotary wing project undertaken in India. Unlike the Soviet-era Mi-17s, the IMRH will feature a glass cockpit, four-axis automatic flight controls, composite blades and survivability features including armor protection, radar and missile warning receivers and flare dispensers. It will also be true multi-role platform, equally apt at troop lift, disaster relief, casualty evacuation and even limited strike missions with rockets and gun pods. For the Navy, the 12.5-ton DB-MRH is being tailored for deck operations with folding blades and marinization. It will carry dipping sonar, sonoboys, torpedoes and even anti-ship missiles, making it India's first indigenous multi-role naval helicopter. Compared to the Mi-17 V-5, the IMRH matches payload and range but adds modern survivability and mission systems. The DB MRH may not equal the combat-proven MH-60R in sophistication, but it will give the Indian Navy numbers, cost advantage and sovereign capability. Together, the IMRH and DB MRH mark India's entry into medium lift indigenous helicopter club, ensuring self-reliance, reducing dependence on Russia and the West and giving the armed forces a helicopter fleet built for Indian conditions. India's next generation helicopters are not just about replacing Mi-17S or supplementing MH-60R, they are about strategic autonomy in the skies and at sea. 